and today we're going to take a very quick look at this Magic Smoothie Editor Pro. This is video editing software. If you're used to free video editing software, this is a good step up without spending an absolute fortune. And I'm just going to run through some of the features that you get with this. First of all, if I was to be doing a YouTube video, I might have some sort of introduction at the bottom. So voiceover mark, could you add a title please? So as you can see, this is pretty easy to use. I'm just gonna run through some of the templates. If we click on templates, you can see we've got a really good range, really nice menu system now. This is an improvement over a previous version I've tried. So you've got your basic credits, and if you just press play on any of these, that you can see a little demo of them. And you've got captions as well. So you've got a nice wide range of options. So let's just pick this one. Once you've picked it, it'll open up the text box. So we're just gonna say, say hi. So that's a nice title. That's on the timeline, you can still edit it. You've got all these options up here. And if you wanted to, you could uh, move this around the screen, but I'm gonna leave it at the bottom. So you can move titles around if they're not quite in the right place. So now we've got a title added, you know how to contact me. And if we just run through the various features, you can see that along the bottom, you've got this video playing. That's the video time bar and you add your media to that bar. And that's how you build up your overall video. This can be changed to different features and functions. So you can see this is the bar view that I work in, but you can have it in a much simpler format as well. VoiceOver Mark, could you just run through some of the other menu items, please? Okay, so you've seen how we do titles, but if we just go back into templates, if we scroll down, you've got uh, editing template basics, you've got film templates, so you can give it a certain intro, outro look if you want. If we scroll down some more, you've got the actual film grading. So click on the item you want to try this with and press play. You can see it's now got the green bleached outlook. And you see how quick and easy this is. So you can find one that you're interested in and you can either apply that to one or you could apply it to all. You've also got various things like borders if you want to do something a bit fancy. And we can do all sorts of mixed reality. So this is just adding on as if it's a sunset. It'd be nice to see the sun in Manchester once in a while. And you can purchase extras. There's a lot of in-app purchases that you can do as well. So you've got loads of video effects as well. You can do chroma key, distortion. So if we just add the kaleidoscope one, that's always a bit freaky. You've got uh, lens flares that you can add. And if we go down, you can change the size, position, 3D distortion. There's all sorts of effects in this. It's actually really feature packed. And I really like the way they've redone the menu system now. It's a lot easier to use than it used to be. Under audio, you've also got a collection of songs and there are some that are free that you can use or you can go ahead and purchase additional music to use in your videos. So you can see this has got a lot of functionality and it allows you to very quickly edit videos, chop them in half, maybe add some transitions in place, but it's also got some additional features such as Steadicam. So voiceover mark, if you could do a chop and make the next bit of video a bit more steady. So I know I don't need anything after that, so we're going to go here, chop that video up, delete that section, and now we're on to a section with the cat. So let's have a little look what we can do here. Now, this was taken with my Canon camera, but the Canon camera's stabilization isn't great when you're holding it in the hand. So you can see as I'm, as I'm doing this, it's quite unsteady. This is pretty typical of a lot of footage, quite unsteady, but looks good. So let's see what we can do about that. So under effects, you've got the ability to stabilize the footage. You have to select the footage and apply the effect. Now, as you can see, this one is an additional one that you have to unlock. That's the version four. Uh, so you can pay extra and get to the latest version, or you can just go ahead and use version two. So again, click on it, version two, apply effect. You've got different camera types there, just in case you're shooting as a gliding camera, what have you. And we first need to run the analysis and then it will try and study things up. 
So here we are now just towards the end. It takes a couple of minutes, so I sped that up just to save you and sit through it. Now, if I take the same footage again, let's just put that on. I had to cut that down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is apply picture in picture. So we want that on the bottom right. So this little one here is the original one without the shake reduction. The main one should be less shaky. So let's hit play. So you can see it has reduced the shake quite a bit and you still have the detail when you zoom in. You can see this one's very shaky around, whereas this one's a little bit smoother. You see you've got all these different variations. You can uh, apply collages, which is one of my favorites. So you can have really cool looking transitions. Overall then, this is a very good bit of software if you are looking to get into video editing and you're just using a free editor at the moment. It's available at a range of price points depending on what you want. You can just have the very basic one or the more you pay, you get a few extra features bundled with it. It's not always the easiest to use bits of software, such as when you're exporting videos, it's sometimes tricky to know what to pick. So it's got an awful lot of features built in. I really like some of the intros and outros. Just be aware that some of the features are not for commercial use and therefore you won't be able to use them on a monetized video such as on YouTube. So where you've got flashy animations or music, you might want to check with Magix to see if they are for commercial use. I hope you found this short video useful. Thanks for watching.